Hey guys, welcome to today's workout. We've got a 20 minute full body toning workout with or without dumbbells. We're gonna get started with our warm up. So come back to the back of your mat with me. We're gonna crawl forward into an inchworm plank, bringing those shoulders over your wrists, abs tight, crawl back, hips back, put those heels down, stand all the way up. We're gonna do that again. So we're getting the full body nice and warm before we work out today. Getting those abs, the shoulders, the hips mobilized and ready for the work. Today's work workout, we're gonna do 50 seconds on, we'll rest for 10. You can use those dumbbells or not. You can go light to medium here. I'm using a set of 10. You are welcome to use lighter. I wouldn't go much heavier than 10. Let's come down one more time and we're gonna hold it here. Bring your right hand to outside of your right foot. Lift your right arm, rotate that chest open. Hand down, opposite hand lifts, rotate. Switch, left foot, left hand, left arm rotate. Left hand down, right arm open. Mobilizing the shoulders, the chest, those hips getting ready for the work today. Everything's gonna be low impact, so you don't have to worry about jumping. But we're gonna get the full body toned here. Let's do one more each side. This is a really great exercise. Just creating that space, especially if you sit a lot, work at a desk, are hunched over like looking at your phone, reading, whatever. This really helps open everything up. All right, push back to a downward dog, hips back, pedal those heels toward the floor. Just nice and easy. As you're pushing those heels down, you're trying to push your hips back, create space, open up those shoulders and your upper back. Walk those feet toward your hands. Come on up, feet just outside hips. I'm gonna do a few easy squats, just down and up. Hips back. And knees pushing forward in line with those middle toes. Good posture here. Take those feet a little bit wider. We're gonna lunge and twist toward the opposite foot, reaching the other arm up to the ceiling. So lunge, push that hip back. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through that inner thigh. We'll do one more each side and then we're gonna grab our weights for our first exercise, which is a deadlift. So grab your weights, bring your feet under your hips, shoulders back, chest up, abs tight. We're hinging from the hips, bringing those weights down to the shins, bring them back up. So until your back is parallel to the floor, that's as low as we wanna go today. Weights stay close to the legs. Hips push way back so you feel a nice big stretch through your hamstrings, opening up those glutes. Little squeeze of your butt to the top, but you want those hips neutral. So right under the shoulders as you come up, knees soft. And again, good posture here means shoulders back and down. There's a little tension between your shoulder blades like you're trying to hold something between them. And we rest. Next, we're moving to a plie squat with an upright row. So feet wide, toes out. We're gonna let those weights hang between the legs. Push the knees out, squat down. And then upright row, bring those weights up to your chest. So knees out, toes out. And then as we reach the weights down, make sure you're just pushing your hips back. Your chest stays up. 
and then you're leading with those elbows in the upright row, pulling the shoulder blades together. At the top right here, big squeeze. We go nice and slow. It's not about speed here. We're gonna get deep in that squat so we can work the hips, and those postural muscles of the back with that upright row. Let's get one more in. We're gonna drop one dumbbell. Keep one at your collarbones or you can go with no weight. Back to that wide squat, plie squat pulse. Hips back, here we go. So knees out, hips way back. Weight is close to you. And if you don't wanna use the weight, you don't have to. But I want you to focus on driving those knees out, sitting the hips way back, and breathing. It's a long time to do this. If you need to, come up a little higher. You don't have to stay low the whole time, but if you can, get right back down there. After you've come high for a few seconds, come back down. We're in the final stretch. Less than 10 seconds. Time. Good work, guys. All right, we're moving into a backwards lunge with a bicep curl. Feet under hips. I'm gonna show you from this side here. Step one leg back, bring those weights up to your shoulders for that bicep curl. So we're rotating those weights to face the shoulders, squeezing those forearms to our biceps. And then with a the lunge, big step back, dropping that back knee toward the floor. Front knee pushes out right over that ankle line, 90 degrees. That front thigh is parallel to the floor. Weight is in the front heel and back toes. By keeping that weight in the front heel, you keep it in the glute. As you stand up, push through that front heel, squeeze your butt. Work guys, rest. We're moving to a single leg deadlift. So we're gonna extend one leg back, open up that hip. So let's go. Bring those weights down mid shin, leg extends straight back and lift. So we're just melting those weights into the leg just like we did with both legs. But now we're lifting that one leg off the floor. Make sure you're still maintaining good posture here. Chest up, shoulders back, abs tight and you're keeping your hips and shoulders facing the floor. That's gonna help you stay balanced and keep that work in your glute and your hamstring. Nice and slow is the way to do it. You might shake, you might lose your balance, fall over, no big deal. We've all done it, pretty sure I've done it in several videos I've filmed. Break, we're gonna do the other leg. And you'll, know, you'll notice one side's different, harder or easier than the other, totally normal. Let's reset. Especially those first couple are always the most, see what I mean? <laughs> always the most difficult. Like your body like gets stuck halfway or something. But remember, it's about quality over quantity, form over speed. So just stay with it, stay slow. That's why I always do timed intervals. Everybody's effort level, intensity level, ability level is different. So when you do timed intervals, it allows everybody to work at the same level, but at their own level in the same way. So you're not having to do a certain number of reps. And it helps if you don't talk during this because that really throws off your balance too. All right, rest. We're gonna move to a reciprocal row. So feet under hips. We're gonna push those hips back. Weights hang. We're gonna pull the elbow up and back, one arm at a time. Row, and then switch. So one arm pulls back, the other arm reaches down. As you pull that elbow back, you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blade. 
back and up. Weight stays back in your heels, abs tight, chest up. And your eye gaze is about six feet straight in front. Make sure your chin's tucked and you're not looking up. We don't want to strain that neck. This one puts a lot of pressure in that back body if you need to. You can always lose the weights or go lighter on this one. Good work, guys. We're gonna do a standing kickback pulse. You can use the weights or not for this one. I'll show you from the side. So one leg, open those arms. We're gonna pulse that leg. So just kicking it back. Just a couple inches of movement. And you can see I'm kicking it kind of to the back corner. It's gonna open up that glute, get into the side glute, that hard to tone area. You can tap the foot, see what I just did? You can always tap like that in between the pulses if it's too intense. And you do not need the weights here. It's gonna add a little bit more intensity but you don't need it for sure. Also a great one if you have ankle weights, you could put that on that working leg. Rest. We're gonna do the same thing, other leg. So good posture here. Shift your weight and let's pulse. Again, your balance is different on each side. So we wanna just keep it nice and easy. This isn't an intense hit workout. We're just trying to focus on controlled movement. It's toning. So we're working the big muscles, but we're also working those little muscles, those like the side glute. That's why we're kicking to the back corner here. So we really get all those muscle groups, even the ones we don't maybe work as often, those big power moves like we do in a hit class. That's what we're focusing on today. All right, we're moving to a plank row. So into a plank, you can use your dumbbells or not. Knees or feet wide, shoulders over wrists. We're gonna row, one arm pulls up and switch. Hips and shoulders face the floor. Squeeze that booty, brace your abs really tight right here. Make sure you're maintaining good alignment so shoulders stay over the wrists. Hips and shoulders square to the floor. We wanna to try to avoid rocking. That's why it helps to take your knees wide or your feet wide like I just had them. But you always have the option to come down onto those knees if you just need to reset or recover for a second. Home stretch. Rest, we're moving to a curtsy lunge with a lateral raise. So one leg at a time, we're gonna step that left leg to the back corner, raise those arms up, and then step back in. So knee goes to the back corner, foot goes to the back corner, front leg, knee pushes forward over your toe, those arms, Go up about shoulder height, elbows 90 degrees. Pushing through that front heel, squeeze your butt as you stand up. Nice and slow. Really get deep into that lunge, so that back knee almost to the floor. Or you can tap the floor. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Just as long as you're not really knocking that knee on the floor, you can definitely tap it. And rest, we're gonna do the same thing, other leg. Man, this one, if you're using tens, harder on the arms than the legs, for sure. Other leg. Some of these might be good to go up or down on the weight if you have the option. But if you have light weights, five pounds, three pounds, 
This one will absolutely work. Some of those leg moves you might want to go heavier on like the deadlift, but then the arm ones, they add a little bit more intensity, but uh, it's not a bad thing. For me, yes, this is very hard with the tens, but I'm glad I'm using them because it's challenging me. And you know it's a good workout if it's challenging, but you're still maintaining proper technique. So that's the sweet spot. You want it to be hard, but not so hard to where you're losing that form and you're not getting anything out of it. All right, we're moving to a single leg pointer. Come down, lose one dumbbell. We're gonna take that right leg back, left leg or left arm forward, and we're gonna pulse the leg. So just a tiny pulse with that leg. Option here, lose that dumbbell. Keeping the hips and shoulders square to the floor, arm up, thumb up in the hand, and just the leg is moving here. We wanna keep everything still. Another option would be to put that arm down. But again, you wanna avoid shifting your weight to one side. That's gonna be the tendency here. If I had to keep everything square to the floor. This one's great for your core, working that back body and the glute and that leg. You feel it really, really toning right here. We're almost done. Adding that dumbbell adds a little extra intensity that you don't need it. Other side, we're gonna switch hands, switch legs in three, two, one. Here we go, just the leg pulsing. And having that hand up, whether you've got the dumbbell or not, is gonna add that balance challenge to really challenge those cross slings in your back, your core. We're in the home stretch is our last one. If you need to, put that hand down, stay strong. Last push. And time. All right, we're gonna move on to that cool down. So weights down, take your knees wide, push the hips back, child's pose. Just let that chest melt into the floor. Walk those hands over to the right. Pull that left hip back, reach those left fingertips forward to release that side body after all the rows and the planks. We need this one. Let's do it on the other side. Reach over, pull that hip back. Hands down, push hips back and up to that downward dog. Pat all the feet, push those heels toward the floor like we did in the warm up. Really try to create space in that upper back. Walk the feet toward your hands. Let's just hang here in a forward fold. You can keep the knees straight, you can bend them. Just let your body release. Don't worry about if you can't get your legs straight or if you can't reach the floor, like I can barely do that. I have tight, tight hamstrings. Slowly roll to the top, grab one leg. We're gonna stretch that quad, pull the heel to your butt, bring that knee forward. Other leg. Open up that chest. And clasp your hands, look down, round your upper back. And 
and then bring your elbows to your knees around the back again. And we made it. 20 minutes full body toning. So I hope to see you back here for our next workout. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you next time.